Lend with Care allows people to make a small loan to someone in a developing country who wants to work their own way out of poverty by starting or growing a small business. Hello, I've come along to this school because these pupils became entrepreneurs. Using one pound, they changed it into hundreds. I'm going to tell you a story about how it's going to be spent because we, we lend, lend with care. care. I want to just show you a little clip about what's going to happen to that money that you lot have been um, making for Lend with Care. The pupils at Thorndon School in Hampshire who supported Lend with Care took their one pound and did everything from washing cars to making jewellery to grow their investment so they could help people in developing countries to help themselves. I want to lend with care because I want to make the world a better place in the future. I lend with care because somewhere, someone out there needs that care. I lend with care because it's a constructive way of helping people out of poverty. Lend with Care is an initiative of leading poverty fighting charity Care International. I wanted to find out how some of their hard-earned money had been spent, so I went over to Togo in West Africa to meet some of the people who've benefited from their efforts. Many people live difficult lives, unable to afford even a simple house or pay for their children to go to school or even feed them more than once a day. One person who received help from the money raised by the Thorndon pupils lives in a town called Atak Palme. It's about a three hour drive from the capital Lome. She's called Chala Aju. She's 68 years old and she's going to talk to me about how that money is helping to transform her business and also her life. Despite her age, Ajua remains a very busy woman, both on her business and with her family. She has seven grown-up children aged between 31 and 50, and as you can see, numerous grandchildren who she helps to care for. With the extra money I have made as a result of improving my business, and after I have paid off the loans, I have now built my own house, and that is a great thing for me. Football is really popular in Togo. Some children play in bare feet, but this boy has been able to buy boots from a local shop, which has been helped by Lend With Care. Mama Sanonu, who owns the shop, used his loan to buy new types of shirts and boots and the extra profits he's now making means he can start a new life. I'm a single man, but I have a family, a mother, sisters and brothers, and I take care of the, the, this person. But I'm planning as now, the, my business going well, to, uh, to, to marry a wife and uh, found my family. Now it's really important to measure and to show if people's lives are getting better as a result of those Lend With Care loans. So what the organisation does in areas like Africa is they look at families and they look at whether their health has improved over the years. They look at whether children like this are now getting education, whether their parents can afford to send them to school. They look at whether they can get access to clean water. There you can see some young people, some children actually getting clean water from a well that was paid for in the centre of town. And they also look at the food that children like this get. Do they have one meal a day, as some families get, or do they get two or three meals a day, and the quality of the food they actually get as well. And so far, the information that's been gathered shows that most of the families who've had help from Lend With Care have seen real improvements in each of those areas. And the last person I visited in Togo was a perfect example. Omoru Yaya is a tailor who makes clothes for people from his tiny shop. He has six children. These are the two youngest. Before, he could only afford to feed them once a day. Now, after taking loans and improving his business, the family eats three times a day. And he can also afford to send them to school and get them treated by a doctor when they're ill. 
back at Thorndon School, meanwhile, and the pupils who'd raised the money were fascinated to see how it had been used to help people in Africa. It just seemed like such a good opportunity. If we could mirror what Lend With Care does around the world with entrepreneurs by lending to the pupils and them setting up their own businesses, it meant that we could um, teach them so much more than just please sponsor um, th th this event, which is what we normally do for charity events. It's really good for children because it's like a connection to the people who are like doing the business and you know that they're helping other children who are like the same age as you. I think it's a really good charity because it's different and I think it's a different, instead of like, it's just giving loads of money to people who you might always go to the right place. They can lend money to some people to business so they can help their business prosper. I think Learn With Care is a great charity to um, work with because it helps others in need to make businesses and help their own families and I think other kids should try and do it as well. So I think you'll agree that Lend With Care doesn't just improve the lives and the businesses of the adults like William here, but it also improves the lives of young people just like you and these children here in Togo. From Togo in West Africa, bye for now. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. If your school or club would like to get involved, we've got some great resources to help you get started. Visit www.lendwithcare.org forward slash schools. Thank you.